Hello, this is Holly Sanders, and I would like to welcome you to the Clarified series. In this segment, we will be covering the heart. Now that you have learned the structural anatomy and understand how blood travels through the heart, let's look at how blood circulates through the body. The pulmonary circuit sends blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs. Blood from the right side of the heart was received from the body through the vena cava and is deoxygenated. As a result, it needs to go to the lungs and receive more oxygen before going back to the cells of the body. The pulmonary artery, which starts the pulmonary loop, is the only deoxygenated artery in the body. In order for gas exchange to occur, the large pulmonary artery will get smaller and become a pulmonary arteriole, which will finally turn into a one-cell pulmonary capillary, where gas exchange occurs with the lungs. Once gas exchange is completed, blood leaves the pulmonary capillary bed and starts making its way back to the heart through the pulmonary venules and then to the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins are the only oxygenated veins in the body. The pulmonary veins complete the pulmonary loop as it dumps blood into the left atrium. Systemic circulation occurs in the left side of the heart. You may have noticed that the myocardium of the left ventricle is much thicker than the right ventricle, and this is because it needs to pump hard enough to send blood throughout the entire body. When the left ventricle contracts, blood is ejected through the aorta, which will branch off into arteries, and then the arteries will turn into arterioles until finally blood reaches the systemic capillary beds. Once gas exchange happens in all the cells of the body, Blood will return to the heart through the venules, getting larger to veins, and finally reaching the largest vein, the vena cava, until it is dumped into the right atrium. Pulmonary circulation. The right atrium, then blood goes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, out the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary arteries, pulmonary arterioles, and then the pulmonary capillary beds, comes back through the pulmonary venules, veins, and into the left atrium. Systemic circulation. Left atrium through the bicuspid valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, aorta, arteries, arterioles, systemic capillary beds, venules, veins, vena cava, and now blood is brought back to the heart.